What do you guys think? The new R series. Welcome back guys. I'm really excited to get this YouTube channel up and going again for my current subscribers. Kind of explain a little bit real quick about what you can expect out of this channel. We're gonna be doing weekly videos specifically focused around technology, lifestyle, and videography. Today's video is about the Super 73 reveal. Uh, coming in, coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. LABB who we running with. Yeah. I've always been a fan of Super 73, and I feel like that they make really great products, but with everything that's been coming out, I felt like it didn't justify the price tag, uh, but this reveal absolutely did, and I'm definitely interested in throwing out a pre-order, and this, is, this video is for sure not sponsored by Super 73, but if you guys want it to be, go ahead. Let me know. But I'm, I was really impressed with what Super 73 did with the bike. All the colors that they chose, the gray and the red are definitely much higher quality colors than what they previously had. Uh, a bunch of other brands started copying what Super 73 did. And, you know, these last couple of years, we kind of been wondering, like, you know, Super 73 has been doing a little slight redesigns of different colors and themes, but they haven't really put out a product that has really blown people's minds. I felt like this launch event they really did. first three corresponding to the legal requirements. So the class one mode allows the bike to be operated only using pedal assist up to 20 miles an hour. Class two allows throttle and pedal assist up to 20 miles an hour. And class three allows up to 28 miles per hour using just pedal assist. And last, we have unlimited mode. This unlocks the full power and speed of the bike for use off-road or on private property. As an example, our neighbors up in the cold north, Canada, they have lower power and speed limits on e-bikes than we do here in the US. A simple over-the-air update gives them a road legal riding mode there. Now, when we built the very first Super 73, we used 20-inch bicycle fat tires. Now, we've continued to use that size, but found that most of the tires in this size were very poorly constructed and designed for really cheap, non-powered bikes. As a tire is your only connection to the road, it's pretty important. And we decided to create a tire that was worthy of the R-Series bikes. So we're also introducing the new Super 73 Badger tire. It's the first tire that blends motorcycle and bicycle co tire construction methods. We created a proprietary tread pattern designed to improve traction, reduce road noise, and have better puncture resistance. Now, all our series bikes come with an inverted moto-style fork with huge 35 millimeter stanchions and 120 millimeters of suspension travel. Now, these forks, they're designed to take abuse and it's not like anything you'll find on the competition, I promise. Now, the R has a coil spring fork and the RX adds air assist, adjustable preload, and rebound damping for a truly adjustable suspension. In the rear, the R uses a coilover monoshock with adjustable preload and rebound damping. The RX model adds a piggyback reservoir and compression damping for complete control and adjustability. So both the R and RX use Tektro hydraulic brakes. The RX has the most powerful brakes we've ever put on a Super 73. We have four piston forged calipers front and back and new 2.3 millimeter thick brake rotors. Those new rotors are 28% thicker than industry standard, improving brake response, heat dispersion, and heat tolerance. And that wraps up the R-Series bikes. So I'd love to get your guys' opinion on what you guys think of these new bikes that just came out. Feel free to leave your opinions in the comments, and please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to keep making these videos for you guys. And until next time, I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.